Bah, doctor! Doctor! Oh, where have you got to this time? Oh, better leave a note. I have a bad tempered Ogron and some alien tech waiting analysis. Oh, doctor, you always did pick your moments. How about this for a moment? What the devil? Who are you, sir? The doctor. Although definitely not the one you were expecting. Whatever do you mean? You... You haven't gone and done it again, have you? Regenerated? Like you wouldn't believe. Where's Miss Grant? Happy, I hope. It's been a while. You hope? If you've left her somewhere... I'm from your future, Brigadier. Unit labs and cups of cocoa heated over Bunsen burners, they're all long, long ago. You know, I've missed this old place. Never thought I'd say that. Nothing old about it. State-of-the-art equipment, as you requested. Of course. Now tell me about the alien tech. Well, Winter's uncovered some kind of gubbins, definitely non-terrestrial. Might be connected to our Ogron friend. That would make sense. It wouldn't be the first occasion they've got their paws on time technology. Time technology? Yes, Brigadier. We are all caught in a time loop that's reiterating and decaying. One end is centred on that machine your Ogron Palace so passionately keen on. Unfortunately, only me and Andy have the necessary time travel chops to retain full memory of events. I see. Well, you're taking all this very calmly. You're asking me to accept that you're the Doctor, from my future, with a new face, and no Miss Grant. And no sooner have I grasped this perplexing situation, it's all going to be wiped away from my mind by some sort of time loop anyway. That's about the size of it, yes. Very well, how can I help? Well, that's it. Well, no questions, no, no bluster, no sudden wild assertions. We're not in Cromer anymore. Frankly, Doctor, what would be the point? Nothing about you surprises me anymore. Anyway, action is the thing, so let's prioritise. What can we do, if anything, to stop this infernal time loop thing? I never did give you enough credit. Hmm? What? Old me. I could sometimes be a little snappish, couldn't I? <laughs> well, you are uh, occasionally uh, a little curt. I wasn't used to being trapped in one place, one time. Frustration comes out in all kinds of ways. You know, nobody likes to be confined to barracks. Perfectly understandable, old chap. You know what? I'm sorry. You're a good friend to me, the best of friends. And I don't think I ever said that. Oh, good heavens. Well, Doctor, now I know the world is ending. What the devil's that? I shouldn't worry. It's probably just the Ogron breaking out of its cell. The Ogron? Doesn't matter. I left Winters guarding him. Back in a jiff. Need to take care of this. Winters, well.